Uh, a question from Judges 11, verse 30 through 31, and then verse 40. It says, Jephthah made a vow unto the Lord that if the Lord secured him a victory, what is your understanding of the situation? With his daughter, a burnt offering, and the daughters of Israel each year commemorating Jephthah's daughter. And those verses said that Jephthah made a vow that the first thing that would come out and greet him, that he would offer to the Lord. Well, guess what? His daughter ran out first. Well, let me tell you what is the, the most uh, incredible part of that whole story is one, the devotion to the Lord to fulfill a vow, and another lesson about be careful what you vow. You know, you, you, don't, you don't know the circumstances. In fact, later on, even the Messiah will say, don't go around making vows. Don't go around swearing things. Let your yes be a yes. Let your no be a no. The fact of the matter is you don't know what's going to be happening. And, and uh, uh, a vow was, uh, the, the law of a vow was given for you to express the, the, the strongest form of you affirming something. And in the case of entering into a marriage covenant, a vow is most appropriate. You should be making the strongest affirmation uh, in the case of a marriage vow to be the husband of your wife, the wife to be the wife of the husband. That's the strongest form of language um, and it's a very powerful and there are very many spiritual laws associated with it. In the case of Jephthah, he made a very powerful vow, but he shouldn't have. He could have just as easily said, when I come back, if you secure a victory, I will commemorate it, I will offer sacrifices. But he locked himself into conditions that he, was, he didn't even consider that were possible. So when his daughter ran out, he, he was done in by his own words. And rather than break the vow, which would have been a great sin for him before the Lord, he fulfilled the vow, and as we all know. And we're supposed to remember this and think about this. And, of course, one of the great lessons that comes out of that, you be real careful about you making a vow. Do not let your mouth run away with you making vows that you can't fulfill uh, or don't want to really fulfill. Uh, with regard to it. Let me leave it at that for the answer. <laughs>